Hello. Today we're going to be covering the photoelectric effect, the first in a series of lessons on quantum phenomena. We're going to go over what the photoelectric effect is and cover important terms like stopping potential and threshold frequency. And towards the end, we're going to calculate the energy of the ejected electrons. Very simply, the photoelectric effect occurs when light is shone at certain materials. These materials will eject electrons from their surface after the light has been incident upon them. It was discovered in the late 19th century. Scientists used a set of apparatus called photocells. Photocells are very, very simple. They're simply made up of an anode and a cathode with a vacuum in between. The light shone at the photocell caused electrons to be released. This was detected as it caused a small current to start flowing inside the circuit. There are several important observations we should make about the photoelectric effect. The first of these is that light below a certain frequency will not cause electrons to be emitted from a material. Let's take an example. Say we shine red light, which has a relatively low frequency, at potassium. No electrons will be emitted from the surface. However, if we take higher frequency light, such as green light or blue light, electrons will be emitted from the surface. This was very important as it led to the idea that light was behaving like a particle rather than a wave in the photoelectric effect. The energy of a particle of light, that is a photon, is equal to hf, where h is Planck's constant and f is the frequency. If this energy is below a certain value known as the work function phi, the photon will not have enough energy to release an electron from the surface. This is the case no matter what the intensity or the brightness of the light is. However, when a photon has as much energy as the work function, electrons will be emitted from the surface. We call this point the threshold. The threshold frequency is the frequency of light necessary for electrons to be released from the surface. It's equal to the work function phi divided by Planck's constant. And here's a chance for you to have a go at a question yourself. Calculate the threshold frequency for lithium if the work function is equal to 4.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Pause the video now and I'll give you the answer in a few seconds. And here's the answer. You should have calculated that the frequency is equal to 6.94 times 10 to the 14 hertz. There's a second important observation we should make about the photoelectric effect. As we increase the frequency of the light, that is, as we increase the photon energy, the energy of the ejected electrons also increases. The reason for this is because a certain amount of energy, phi, is needed to release an electron from the surface. However, any excess energy of the photons is converted into the kinetic energy of the electrons. To measure the photoelectric effect, we may set up an evacuated glass tube with two plates at either end. Photons are shone on one of the plates, which releases electrons from the surface. The electrons are then allowed to move between the two plates. In order to measure the kinetic energy of those electrons, we would set up a potential difference between the plates. That is, we'd make one of the plates more positively charged and the other plate more negatively charged. That way, the ejected electrons would be attracted back towards the positively charged plate. At some point, these electrons would no longer reach the second plate and we wouldn't measure any current through our circuit. At this point, we can say that the work done on the electrons is equal to small e, the charge of the electrons, multiplied by the potential difference between the plates, the stopping potential. This then must be equal to the kinetic energy, ek. Finally, we're going to get some practice using this equation. Firstly, we're going to calculate the work function and the maximum kinetic energy of sodium. After that, I'm going to give you a chance to fill in the rest of this table. To start with, sodium is a work function which is equal to 2.28 electron volts. We want to convert this into joules. In order to do that, we multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, giving us a work function of 3.65 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Secondly, we'd like to calculate the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. In order to do this, we're going to rearrange our formula to give us Ek is equal to Hf minus phi. We've got the frequency of the uh, photons, so we're going to convert that into an energy. We get that the, uh, the energy of the photons 
is 3.98 times 10 to the minus 19. This gives us a kinetic energy of the electrons is equal to 0.33 times 10 to the minus 19. Here's an opportunity for you to get some use practicing that equation yourself. It's very important that you do know how to use this equation as well as convert between electron volts and joules. I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video. And finally, here are the answers.